put any comments on mental health services? Oh, what what you said? What's that, sorry? I have no idea what you said. Mental health services, are they accessible to all? As far as I'm aware. No problem, everything is great, yeah? Hi. We've got the cat woman. I mean, cat woman is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we're I don't about? say. <laughs> then they're trying to make it more private, proper. Yeah, well, I've, I've just literally asked him about 20 times is it private property? And he couldn't answer me. Yeah. And then in the end, it said, yes, it is. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, whether it is or not. Yeah, so, yeah, that one in there. This is Halifax Police Station. Custody is just over that end. Let's all walk around. Yeah, custody is just over that doorway there. This green fence never used to be here. A uh, yeah, long time ago. Um, this police force, uh, Halifax, has been into trouble uh, in uh, Spring Hall um, for choking uh, a person. Um, an armed police officer and six dean other individuals was also, have also been done uh, for sexual grooming as well. Um, on this particular police stop. Custard is just over there. Uh, um, yep, and uh, Halifax Police Station is a grade listed building as well at uh, grade two. Um, so it is a listed police station as well. Um, yep, so this police force, uh, Halifax, have been into trouble for. Uh, choking somebody uh, at uh, Springall. Uh, I'll leave the story in the description box. Um, 16 men and a police armed response officer um, was uh, in uh, Bradford Magistrates Court recently, which is a case has been moved to Crown Court uh, for sexual uh, grooming of um, young children. Uh, the police officer actually done for sexual touching. Um, the case is actually still going through court as I, as I speak. Um, the was in court in January, uh, but caught at COVID-19 uh, the virus. Um, the case has been uh, adjourned to uh, Crown Court, um, which is still uh, going through. But this is... Uh, Halifax um, Police Station This big building here I'm just asking what you're calling Yeah, anything we can see in a, from a public place Right. Number? Are you a police officer? Yes, sir. What's your number then, please, mate? What's your name? Six double eight one, mate. We're filming anything we can see from a public place because we can. Is that all right? Let's get off. Just come and get your details. Yeah, yeah. We're not getting no details here, mate. All right. That's, you're Just on come and get the details, will you, please? Do you not know no. how that works? That you get details when you're suspected of committing a crime. No, just you get your details. No, but you're not, you're not know how that works. You're not allowed to just go and check people's details. Where, where do you come I think the sergeant's already explained it to you, haven't you? What your actions could now. be classed as, it's it's as no, hostile reconnaissance, which potentially could be classed as arrested offences under the Terrorism Act. Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. under what you need suspicion of? So, what's your reasonable suspicion? I'm just saying, so that's what he says. If you come onto the premises, you could be arrested, yeah? For what though? For what? So what's what classed as what's class as police premises yeah, but because I got what's what's class class as police premises please because to me this is a public football. I'm not arguing with you, I'm just asking you a question, officer, what you like to be called. Station, in the way that you're doing, your actions could be seen as hostile reconnaissance. 
in relation to terrorism, yeah? Obviously, if you come Is onto the premises... Is there any reason why you're filming? Any particular reason or...? Because we get these know? reactions every time yeah. we do. Oh, is that the reason you're doing it? Yeah. Well, now it is. We're just no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just basically want to journalism. Is that, is that basically reporting on? Because you know you had an arms response officer that was done for basically children's sexual offences. I'm reporting on that today, and then I'm just recording it, and I'll be right. got. I'm gone. But then I bumped into these these guys. That's all yeah, I'm right. doing. We I don't. I've got no problems with the police or anything like that, guys. Right, no, 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 it. It. Yeah, so because oh, to me, this oh, will left yeah, to the people of Halifax because it's a listed building as well. I've lived in Halifax over 20 yeah, years. Just due to the nature yeah, of being a police yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's terrorism threat level. Yeah, severe. But yeah. when we last time the police station was actually, you know, it's it's a little bit far fetched. It's getting a little bit boring now. It's not about that, though, is it? That. No, well, it not, is because you can't really compare something as it's making a simple I'll harmless just let you know. video. Just let me know. So you're refusing to give you details. I don't know who you are. Well, I don't you don't know need to. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I've asked for them. You don't have to. But don't know who you are. Don't know what risk you pose. Obviously. So that's why we don't well, know who you are. Photography is not a crime. Photography isn't a crime. But I'm saying your actions could be classed as hostile Yeah, could be, but that's not enough to get right. someone into right. trouble. No worries, leave it to it. Okay. Are, you, are, you, are you filming us as well on your body cameras, guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what, can I now to take your number because I'll be requesting that footage. 3672. And, uh, thank you, mate. I'll be requesting that footage as well. Yeah, no thank you.